Keep watching to see how this turned into this. Everybody. I'm so happy you've joined me here today. My name is Soraya. If you're new, please subscribe and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Now this is a fluid pour that I enhanced and it started off like this and then transformed into this and I love it. I've got commentary throughout and I've got up close pictures. So sit back, relax, enjoy the video and uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Okay, so I've got my canvas all set up and ready to go. It's a 30 inch by 40 inch canvas, canvas, which is 76 by 101 centimeters. Here are my colors, and I've got quite a variety. Um, this is a grayish blue, white, black, a, um, what's this called, Ross, uh, no, burnt sienna, burnt sienna. A, a green that I mixed myself, it's uh, a dark green with a lot of white in it. So I just mixed that up. And then a vivid orange red. And um, I'm going to place that here for a mountain as well as here and I'm going to swipe. I have a clip later in the video that shows you the exact colors that I've used. I like to use the hair dryer to mix up the colors just a little bit before I start the swipe. I find that I get some really beautiful colors and patterns if I don't clean between each swipe. It is a bit unusual to have green and blue in this uh, cliff. I'm not trying to replicate what's in nature. I do want it to have a somewhat abstract look to it. As I start blowing the paint, I uh, keep in mind the image that I have in my head and work towards that. Even though the water looked really great as is, I decided to change the direction of it just a little bit and I am so glad I did. In the clip after the next one, I have a short video to show you all the colors that I used and their names. Alright, so here it is from my side and I am loving what I'm seeing. I'm going to have a lot to work with to enhance this. Look at that. I know it's difficult to see it from uh, your side. Um, and that's why I take you down so you can see what I see. Look at that. So many beautiful 
cells. Loving the colors. This might be a waterfall. I think that would be interesting. Oh yeah, I, I think it looks fabulous. And I'll have a lot to work with, um, with the river here. I love that it just flows all the way down and over to this part. Might have to add something else there for composition, but we'll see when I get there what it's going to look like. So this will take probably a couple days. That's what uh, it usually has been. Um, and I'll let you know. So I'll see you back in one sec. Okay, so I just quickly wanted to show you the colors that I use. This is uh, um, illegible, but it is a Mars black, titanium white, burnt sienna, vivid red orange, grayish blue. This is a house paint called Sharp Loop and a blue iris. This is sky blue, acrylic, and same thing, uh, sapphire blue. Okay, so it's the next day and um, I messed up over here. It's almost dry, not quite, and I messed up here. <laughs> Trying to touch it, a uh, rookie mistake, and I made a little mistake here and I'm hoping I can fix that. But uh, yesterday, getting back to these, um, you know, I, I was looking at it and I loved them and I just thought I'll fix this one little thing and I messed up and I ended up going over and over and, and same thing with here. I thought, well, if I've done it here, I'll do it there and big mistake. So I'm going to try and fix it today um, by trying to do a little white swipe, even though it's dry. Just gonna see how it go. I think you could tell just how upset I was with myself for messing up those beautiful cliffs, but you know, it all worked out in the end. So this was after that swipe had dried, it was the next day, and I started enhancing it. You're in my heart, you're in my soul, you'll be my breath should I grow old, you are my I usually show you uh, what the painting looks like after it's dry, but I forgot. <laughs> I've edited this video down to about 17 minutes or so, uh, but it took me many, many hours over a couple of days. Even though I really love that water that I just worked on, um, I had to cover it up. This cliff just wasn't right in my eyes. <laughs> If you've seen my videos before, you know I love my dramatic waters and uh, this was a really fun one to work on. I love the idea of the power of nature and I think a good way to achieve that is for the water to be going every which way.
this cliff just kept changing and changing, but uh, I'm happy that I did. It worked out really well. I thinned down my paint with just a little bit of water and with a very light touch you get these beautiful uh, creations there with the water flowing over the top. The addition of this water peak is very important because it literally points down to where you want the viewer to look. All these details give the painting a lot of interest, so it's very important to do. I wanted that water to be looking like it's splashing on the rocks and really having a lot of turbulence in that area. This effect is achieved with just a very, very light touch. The addition of these rocks and the others uh, coming up were all for interest in that area. I decided to add these waterfalls because at the base there seemed to be some water and I thought it'd be interesting that that water came from the waterfalls and then spilling down into the main body of water. I love the look of this light blue sky against the terracotta cliffs. I decided to add a few waterfalls here and there, small ones, uh, but not in white. Uh, they're a light blue, so that doesn't take away from the main focus of that main waterfall. Those rocks at the base seem to be a little bit lonely and so I thought I'm going to add some trees and just gave it a little bit more interest. If you've never seen me paint a sky, yes that is a sponge and it's just a kitchen sponge that I got at the dollar store, nothing special. was hemming and hawing about putting a tree right there and just as quick it's gone. <laughs> Thank you. 
So rather than having a tree, I decided that some really big rocks would be just as interesting and more appropriate for up there. So that's what I'm working on now. And here's the painting all done and I am super happy with it. Love the way this turned out. Wasn't sure about putting a tree up there and I had one and uh, decided against it. I really wanted kind of the focus to be down here and that's why I put the trees here. But lots of beautiful detail and um, I didn't work too much on the water. I wanted this to be the idea of a waterfall, but from the other side of the waterfall. So we usually see a waterfall like this. We see this side. I want to see what's behind. And this is my idea of what it could be from behind the waterfall and um, the water spilling over to the other side. Now it's really unfortunate that I changed up the uh, cliffs here, but they did turn out quite beautiful. The original ones were very beautiful as well. And especially this one changed a lot, but I worked with it and I'm very happy with them. If you click on the link you see now, you'll see more of my enhanced pores. I quickly wanted to show you the image that I started off with. This is before the enhancement, and then this is after the enhancement. Check out my new Facebook group called Soraya Silvestri Artist, Amazing Abstracts and Pores, Promote Your Art. The link is in the description area below.